Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about Lambda in Kotlin. So let's get started. So guys, I have created an Android project to explain the Lambda things. So first of all, let me show a normal function. So this is uh, just a normal function you already know. So right now I will create a lambda function. See, this is the most simplest possible lambda. It is just the body of the function like this without any code. So let me uh, control hover above the my lambda so it is showing val my lambda of the type you can see the parenthesis then arrow then unit so that means my lambda variable is nothing but a lambda function which is taking no arguments and returning nothing so this is the most simplest possible lambda now uh, i will mention the type of the lambda when you will not mention the type of the lambda it will uh, detect the type of the function or lambda that's why whenever i have uh, click hover over the my lambda it's showing parenthesis arrow unit Now I have explicitly mentioned the type. Now let's uh, say I want a function or lambda function which will take an argument. Suppose an integer, integer argument. So let's expand. So you can see it's showing it int. That means it will providing you this argument. So uh, what I will do is I will return a multiplied by 10 actually not a it if you want your custom name then you can mention here so right now this variable of course a variable but it will behave like a function that means the value of this variable is a function so let's use it see it is uh, showing kotlin.unit because i have put here the wrong returning type let me put here int now it is returning 50 because i have mentioned the logic or code here if i put plus then we'll return 15 see so in kotlin function can be treated as variable so uh, now i will talk about the higher order function higher order function is nothing but a normal function but it will take a lambda or it will return a lambda that means a function which can take and or return a function is called as higher order function so i will convert this normal function to a higher order function let's see so uh, let's first try taking a lambda so i will take this type See, right now this function is taking another function of the type this. So, 
uh, what it will do is another form let's take another parameter of integer normal integer and I will put this input here so my fun this one but uh, you see the first parameter is a function itself so that's why it's showing the error yes it is showing the right value because you can see uh, i have put here 5 and the logic is yes, it plus 6 if we change here minus c minus 1 now let's change the position So this one have to be placed after 5 right yes let's uh, make it small yeah yes right value so uh, right now I, I will show you the trailing lambda feature in Kotlin so you can see uh, this function is taking two parameter one is normal integer and another is a lambda uh, that means at the end it is taking a lambda so this is called as trailing lambda because it is at the end so in that case Kotlin will allow you to rewrite this syntax like this so this is allowed in replace of this this is the normal we know this is the second argument but because this is a lambda and the place is at the end that's why Kotlin will allow you to put this here so let me expand see this is a nice syntax this is your normal integer input and this is your lambda input yes right value so uh, trailing lambda is a nice feature of Kotlin and this feature is used in Jetpack Compose heavily so if you are using or starting Jetpack Compose uh, you must have a decent knowledge of lambda function and trailing lambda how to use how to create something like that so this is very important topics in Kotlin and Android as well because Jetpack Compose is heavily using or depending on this feature okay now let's see how a function can return another function or lambda function
so you can see red fun is returning lambda function depending on the input string so here i have used it this is the returned function and this is the parameter and this will be the overall value so you can see it returns 5 if i put minus yes so this way you can utilize and use lambda function higher order function etc so hope this video was helpful for you thanks for watching